The amazing new technology of Ellis Fiber's disposable grease removal device, known as the Grease Lock Filter, has been thoroughly tested by the nationally recognized testing laboratory, Intertech. The Grease Lock filters were subjected to the following tests. The abnormal flare-up test in UL Standard 710 and the flame exposure test in UL Standard 1046. First, to demonstrate what would happen to grease-laden disposable grease lock filters during an abnormal flare-up fire on a cooking appliance, the filters were tested to the UL710 abnormal flare-up test. The grease lock filters were installed in an exhaust hood and fully saturated by soybean oil. As required by the UL710 abnormal flare-up test, the cooking appliance placed below the hood was heated, a pan with one pint soybean oil was placed over the cooking appliance, and the grease in the pan was heated to the point of self-ignition, approximately 700 degrees Fahrenheit. Upon ignition, the fire rages for over five minutes with the flame reaching into the hood directly above the cooking appliance and penetrating the grease lock filters. After the fire dies out, an examination shows that the grease lock filters directly hit by the flames remained intact. The grease that was applied to the filters flared off when heated by the flames and charred the filters, but the filter itself does not support combustion during the fire and remained intact. In addition to the abnormal flare-up test, the grease lock filters were tested to the UL standard 1046. The grease filter tested per the standard is required by NFPA 96 and other codes for grease filters to become listed. The purpose of the grease loading and flame exposure test in UL 1046 is to establish that the grease loaded filters provide a flame barrier when subjected to a fire and prevent flames from extending more than 18 inches from the backside of the grease filters installed in an exhaust hood. Subjecting the disposable grease lock filters fully loaded with grease and installed on the front side of conventional baffle type grease filters to the flame exposure test is to establish that the filters will not cause the baffle type grease filters to allow flame extensions beyond the 18 inch limit. The flame exposure test is performed in a test tunnel on the grease lock filters that are completely saturated with soybean oil for the test. In this test, the grease loaded filters are subjected to 4,000 BTU per minute of heat and flames from the burners placed 18 inches in front of the filters for three minutes. During the test, no flame extension is permitted beyond 18 inches at any time. In fact, the testing showed that the fully loaded grease lock filters had no adverse impact on the flame extension. This is a disposable grease lock filter after successfully passing the flame exposure test. Note that the filter is only burned in the area that was directly exposed to the flames. While the entire filter was saturated with grease, the grease lock filter does not support combustion during the fire. As a result, Ellis Fiber's Grease Lock Systems disposable filters are certified by Intertech in accordance with the standard UL 1046 for use on the upstream side of conventional baffle type grease filters in an exhaust hood. The tests in this video were witnessed by Intertech. See Intertech synopsis of the Ellis Fiber Certification Report number 3177581SAT-001 by clicking on the Intertech ETL logo shown on the Grease Lock website homepage. In summary, the Grease Lock system protects your kitchen exhaust system by preventing the rapid buildup of grease in the exhaust system. We hope you found this video useful and educational. If you have any questions, please contact Ellis Fiber using our Contact Us link on the website or calling us at 888-594-0063.